Sister Wives' latest update, Robin Brown faces backlash for her ultimate betrayal as season 19 approaches. Fans accuse her of isolating Mary Brown, despite Mary's sacrifices for the family. After years of favoritism and manipulation, Robin seemingly discarded Mary once she no longer needed her. Will Mary finally confront Robin? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Robin Brown's Ultimate Betrayal Has Sister Wives star Robin Brown's ultimate betrayal finally been revealed as season 19 approaches? She has done a lot of villainous things to the children and her sister wives. Yet, fans think this may take the cake or at least be the icing on it. So, what did Robin do and who did she do it to? Keep reading for more details. Sister Wives Robin Brown's Ultimate Betrayal Robin Brown seemed meant for the plural family. By the time Sister Wives premiered, it had been 16 years since a new wife had been brought in so it was the perfect time. Robin was divorced with three children and appeared to have a kind heart, adored Cody Brown, and loved what polygamy stood for. Then, it became all about her, her children, and her needs. She even kissed Cody as Christine Brown Woolley was in labor. Eventually, Robin was not playing by the plural family rules. Sister wives helped raise each other's children. Janelle Brown praised Christine for being a homemaker, cooking, teaching, and cleaning. Robin opted for a nanny instead. Cody loved how she catered to him so he spent more time with her than the other wives and his children felt the favoritism. By 2020, the pandemic was raging and he was solely at Robin's since she and her kids followed his stringent rules, unlike Janelle and Christine. Christine, Janelle, and Mary Brown have since left the family but one fan noticed something that could not be ignored. They started a Reddit thread to address how Robin Brown essentially blocked Mary out of the family, before the pandemic. Last season, Mary started alluding to the fact that she hardly ever saw Robin in Flagstaff, both before COVID, and after it was established that Mary was sufficiently COVID-cautious and could apod with Robin and Cody. They felt Mary would have stayed in Flagstaff had Robin opened her heart and home. Moreover, it was noted how Robin betrayed Mary after all she did for her. Mary brought Cody and Robin together then divorced him so he could adopt Robin's children. Then, she was left in the dust. Did Robin betray Mary? Mary Brown was immensely safe, all alone in her home, occasionally checking in on her Utah BNB. She did all she could to be able to see Robin Brown and her kids but was shut out. As aforementioned, it was not just the pandemic, it had been a long time coming. So, what did Sister Wives followers have to say? Jen really nailed it when she pondered why K and R made an agreement in their covenant that if he ever fell out of love with R that he would tell her. Before they were even married. She knew the whole damn time and said nothing. Mary favored Robin over Janelle and Christine. In her mind she had her own new bestie to team up against the other two. But Mary got played. Spectacularly. Yes, Robin abandoned Mary. Why? because she didn't need her anymore, just her money so she kept throwing her breadcrumbs that blew away in the wind. So, it is clear that Robin played Mary for various reasons and hopefully, Mary will address it in season 19. Robin was not forthcoming or transparent, she just held on to Mary and kept giving her false hope. In the end, Mary finally saw the light and left. Do you think this was the ultimate betrayal after all Mary sacrificed for Robin or should Mary have opened her eyes far sooner? Today's next update, sad real reason Cody Brown was done with Mary? While the sister wives' three former wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown all had their reasons for exiting the plural marriage, Mary's story stings. Since she held out hope for so many years, just to be backhanded by Cody Brown blaming her for his lack of love in the end. However, now the sad real reason Cody stopped loving Mary Brown came to light. Mary and Cody Brown live through love loss. Undeniably, watching Sister Wives star, Mary Brown hold on in a loveless marriage for so many years is heartbreaking. However, in the early years of the show, it is apparent there was love between Cody Brown and Mary. Sadly, in season 18, Cody asserts that he never loved Mary, Janelle, or Christine Brown. Furthermore, he regrets not vetting his wives better in the beginning. 
Additionally, he says he entered the marriage with the covenant of love, but wasn't in love with them. However, his love for Robin Brown was deeper and had connected passion. Undeniably, it is hard to see Cody blame Mary for him not loving her. But why did he truly stop loving Mary? When did the joy leave Cody and Mary's relationship? Recently, the sad real reason was spotted. Sad real reason Cody Brown was done with Mary? On Reddit, one fan pinpoints the sad real reason that Cody Brown stopped loving Mary Brown. First, they say, theory about Cody and Mary. Then, give their idea about what went wrong, saying, my theory is that when it became apparent that Mary wasn't able to get pregnant, Cody felt that was a sign from God that she wasn't supposed to be his wife. Anyone familiar enough with the religion to say whether that is a belief their religion would support? I just got into this show recently. However, I tend to find things to obsess over, and because of that I am on my third rewatch. I think Cody really loved Mary. More than that, he really liked her. Had fun with her. Furthermore, the user adds other reasons they believe there was true love between Cody and Mary. After the initial post, several other Sister Wives fans confirmed the real reason was rooted in Mary Brown not being able to have additional babies. Another fan adds, I think Cody had a fetish about making babies and enlarging his celestial kingdom. When he figured out Mary was finished having babies, he had no use for her. I don't think he loves anyone except himself. It absolutely is a belief they support. A woman's worth in polygamy is having babies. I've wondered about that when he talks about Mary, deceiving him and how she isn't the person she claimed to be when they got married. I think when the reality of being married hit, with no sister wives at the time, Mary struggled with taking another wife. That's what I think Cody meant by being deceived. Other fans see the evidence too. While the relationship between Mary and Cody Brown deteriorated over the years, there initially was a beautiful bond. Fans pick up on the evidence that they were originally in love. Mary is the only one he actually married for love in my book. He absolutely loved her. He married Janelle to get closer to his planet and they were a good match and he loved her. Then he married Christine for her clout and his planet and he learned to love her for how she cared for him. He married Robin as a midlife crisis lust thing and she played the adoring worshipping wife while manipulating him until he didn't know when to. Shh. Asterisk T if she wasn't there to tell him to and was in his ear the whole time telling him the other wives were mean to her and if he wanted more of that sweet biscuit he had to keep doing what she said. I think he married Janelle for lust and called it being a good polygamist. I think they always had good sex and a good friendship during their time together. So, love, sex, clout, and a midlife crisis. You're right on target. A fan thinks it was a combination of many factors. Another Sister Wives fan thinks the unraveling of Mary and Cody Brown's marriage was an accumulation of many grievances. I truly don't think Cody thinks that deeply about things. He also fell in love with Janelle and saw Mary mistreat her, then again saw Mary mistreat a couple of the kids. They had tensions for years before the catfish even happened, the Browns just lied their butts off to get a TV show. Of course he'd want more kids for his beliefs, but Cody goes to whoever is easiest to get along with and who will stroke his ego. They hit a lot of their issues. Today's next update, did Cody and Robin Brown's realtor spill tea? Since listing their home for sale, Sister Wives stars, Cody and Robin Brown have grabbed fans' attention. But one person has a front row seat to the ins and outs happening in Cody and Robin's lives, the realtor. Did the realtor spill the tea on why they are moving? Cody and Robin Brown are preparing for change. Lately, there has been speculation about Sister Wives stars, Cody and Robin Brown, with their decision to list their beloved mansion. Some think this is a sign that TLC is ready to cut ties with Cody and Robin Brown. Furthermore, others see clues it is most likely the end of the last dangling thread of the marriage and they are ready to divorce. But now, a realtor is spilling the tea about why they ultimately decided it is time to move on. Did Cody and Robin Brown's realtor spill tea? On Reddit, someone started a discussion about Cody and Robin Brown. First, it was titled, Divorce Must Be Lucrative. Then, they talk about how Cody and Robin are moving on up. Someone claimed to have gotten up close and personal with the realtor and got the tea. During a private tour of the home, someone gave specific details about the home and seemingly found out that Cody and Robin were sitting pretty and looking for more. 
After the split from former wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown from the plural marriage with Cody and Robin, the realtor alludes to them being in a good spot. With the newfound financial gain, they have decided to move into a bigger home. But soon after the post was made, it was suspiciously removed. One fan explains, realtors always say the sellers move to a bigger place. It's even a spiel in one of the handbooks for a local real estate company. It makes it sound more appealing then, the owners are narcissists who don't have contact with their family and who don't bring in the income they used to to support their hideous taste in art and collectibles, so they have to downsize and get another storage unit. Speaking of, will you be needing storage services? I have a number here. It's interesting to think about how financial arrangements play into these situations. Divorce can definitely have significant financial implications, both positive and negative. Entertaining the idea that Cody and Robin Brown are on to bigger better things. When the Sister Wives subgroup continued the topic, there were a few people who decided to at least entertain the idea that Cody and Robin Brown are moving to a bigger home. That's interesting. If it is true, then I wonder if places closer to town are less expensive? Cody and Robin do need a bigger house if they are going to keep up with Robin's shopping addiction and house five adults and two kids forever. I just can't imagine Cody has much money left. This must be some funny subprime balloon mortgage magic if it's true. Another commenter adds, they are buying a bigger house, it's down the street from my aunt in Flagstaff. It's huge. Additionally, another fan is relieved, oh good to hear. I was so upset to hear they would be spending even more of the family money. No I think they are downsizing cause they are forced to share with the ex-sister wives. I hold on to this hope. Other fans weigh in. After the initial conversation was started about Cody and Robin Brown, other fans had thoughts on the matter. Another fan responds and doesn't believe it could be a truthful source. They say, exactly. There is no way the realtor would reveal what their real plans are and certainly not, knowing their client is well known. I wouldn't be surprised if the realtor didn't sign an NDA and legally can't disucks their plans since it's part of their TV show. Someone else points out how advantageous this is for the realtor, if the realtor said they can't afford it or are downsizing or need to move for some reason. Then people would offer a lot less knowing they would probably take it. I want to believe. Because if they're actually so loaded that they're buying something bigger, I'm not sure I can go on. Honestly guys, I'm likely the minority here, I don't think they're splitting. And to those asking how they're affording a bigger house, they aren't. They've just found a way to finance a bigger house. Big difference. More fans are on to the angle the realtor is playing with Cody and Robin Brown's sale. Other people have experience with similar information being given by realtors. Many people think that this is another ploy to make Cody and Robin Brown's home more appealing to buyers. My ex is a realtor. He not only says it because he was told to buy his company, but he's also encouraged to lead the potential buyers to believe that he's the one who found the owners the bigger and nicer home without outright saying it, I can't tell you anymore, client privacy, you know. Always appear to have bigger clients moving to bigger properties. Realtors survive on commission. They say almost anything. Likewise, another person says, I am realtor, can confirm that this is standard practice. My preferred answer is, they are relocating, which is 100% accurate but doesn't share private client info. Intrusive tour. However, some of the Redditors were disturbed by the details that the original poster gave. Likewise, they believe it violated the privacy of Cody and Robin Brown and seemed to cross the line. I'm nosy as heck, but this is too much. If you're not interested in buying the house, you shouldn't be making the whole family pack up and leave so you can have a private guided tour into their personal space. Regardless of how much they're disliked, it's not okay. Unless they're actually looking to buy, then carry on. This person has gone much too far. This is weird and creepy and it's worrying that they can't see that. This is very very wrong. Going through the photos online for the house listing is fine because they have been posted online with permission and full knowledge. This is just invasion of privacy. Narcissist or not, people are entitled to privacy, especially children who have literally no say in what their parents allow. This person has a problem, bordering on obsession. This reads like bad fanfiction and I hope that it is, because if not this is unhinged behavior. What do you think? Do you think that Cody and Robin Brown are selling so they can move to a larger home? Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.